Hello, so my name is Julia Forsberg and I'll be presenting on Animal Logic. So Animal Logic was founded by Zara Nalbandian and Chris Godfrey on July 26, 1991. And they're mostly they were located in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. And they initially started off with only 10 artists working together to produce designs and visual effects in commercials and t television shows. And then uh, they eventually expanded their businesses to California and Vancouver, Canada after gaining a lot of success. So their first project was the title design for the movie Little Women in 1994. And it was their first ever project um, in the film industry that got them noticed. And what I like about it was, was if you look back, it's super sim simplistic, like it's easy to read. And the, the font looks pretty like family orientated because the movie is about family. And then the next year, they created the visual effects in 1995 by making animals talk. So here you have like a, some sheep and a dog talking to each other and people really like that. Like they really like that. Um, you can make computerized mouth movements using animals and that's what gave, gave them really big su success because Animal Logic was able to do that. And then their first ever animated film, it was Happy Feet in 2006. And this gained attention for the for the Antarctica scene, scenery and the lifelike penguins that they have going on in the film. And what people really liked was the photorealism, the naturalistic icy terrain, and how this looks like it could be real. Obviously not with like talking penguins or anything like that, but people were really intrigued and it got a lot of money from the box office. And then they went on to create bigger and better effects. So the first ever like full length movie was Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul in 2010. It took three years to produce. Over 500 artists and technicians were used to design and develop the movie. And the Animal Logics team created and animated over 15 different species of owl alone. And like right here, I really liked how they made the visual effects of the sun. It really looks like a sunrise. And like you could tell these owls are animated, but they have certain design quality to them and the light looks so real and all that so that's what I really like so then in 2013 they made a commercial with coca-cola bringing the iconic polar bear to life they produced um this short film to show a polar bear's life from a different perspective because when you think of polar bear like they're in like an icy terrain and they're just living together and stuff like that and here animal logic wanted to show the bears on how they're like a family so that children and their parents can watch this and connect with it And then the Lego Nin the Lego movie was a big film that they produced in 2014 also family friend family friendly and they com combined with Warner Bros to win best animated film and then since this gained a lot of success it also expanded into a franchise so later on, they created Le the Lego Batman movie and the Lego Ninjago movie. What I really like about this is normally Legos aren't supposed to move. They're like building blocks. And when I was a kid, I was a big Lego fan. Like all I ever wanted was Legos. And in this film, pe people are 
like building their own things in the film and it kind of gives like that nostalgic nostalgic look that these things could come to life and it's just really cute and I love it. And then after they did Iron Man in 2013, Animal Logic went on to do special effects for several other Marvel films. Like for example, Avengers Age of Ultron in 2015. Like in this scene right here, I really love how the special effects can make the concrete move and look like it's been destroyed. And here, me, I've, I'm also like a avid Marvel fan. I've seen all the movies and I've always been intrigued by the special effects. Like that's one of the main reasons why I watch the Marvel films is because I just love the special effects. I love action. And as soon as I found out that Animal Logic did all the special effects for most of these movies, I just knew I had to do a presentation and write about them because it's just so amazing all, what they can do. And here's another Marvel movie they did for Doctor Strange. And in the scene here, he's being pulled. And I, I just love how um, the magic here kind of looks like a firecracker like you would use on the 4th of July. And it just looks like sparks and it kind of looks real too so that's what I like and here it kind of looks like a lasso just made out of firecrackers it's just so interesting to me and and here with the soul being pushed out of the body it kind of gives it like a ghost-like appearance how it's just hovering in the sky or in its terrain whatever just I just really love that and here in 2017, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Um, not a lot of people know this, and I don't know why, but when I was doing research, people didn't know that Groot and Rocket were actual, actually physical, vi visual effects. Like They thought that people were in costumes and stuff like that, but, but they weren't. Like the, As you can see here, like they made a visual effect of this monster here as as well as Groot and I like the monster because it's so detailed like it, it's supposed to look scary and it's just detailed and here you see a guy dancing and he's supposed to represent Groot and I and that's just so cute and also here you see the making of Rocket People thought he was an actual rac raccoon. <laughs> yeah, the actors made the characters like Rocket and Group move with a t ton of wires hooked onto their body. So any movement that the actor was doing was translated back into Rocket and Group. So just recently, they, they created the visual effects for Captain Marvel in 2019. They worked with Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck who also works for the Marvel Studios and as you can see here I really love how the um it's basically a slideshow of effects like it t shows you each layer of how they made that effect to be and I just think that's really interesting in how she can shoot beams out of her hands and it kind of looks like you can tell it's a, a, a visual effect but it's so cool like it just comes out of her naturally like it's just so produced so well in this entire movie um, they used with sign sync software and, it, and they never used that before so this was a new thing for animal logic and it took over 115 individual shots for each effect. And like future films, um, they're already in the making of Peter Rabbit 2. They made the first one in 2018 where 
a bunch of rabbits were made into life. They were talking and causing a lot of mischief around the city. They're also in the process of making The Matrix 4, Betty Boop, she was a character from a long time ago, and Astro Boy. So yeah, just all in all, I love Animal Logic's work. I think they're unique. Like, their effects are way different than any other visual effects company I've, I've ever seen. And they, they're always consistent. Like, that's what I like. Like, you know it's them. Like, if you watch a film, you can easily detect that. That animal logic was a part of that. And I just like how they stand up, stand out from the rest. And if I could work here, I would because, like I said in the paper, they have a university where you can take at least 20 something credits um, per class and learn about how they do what they do um, get more into animation and stuff like that and that'd be so cool I think to take one of their classes or eventually like work for them because they have so many different things that you could be involved in and you can learn the process and stuff and they pay pretty well actually too and I just think that would be awesome to work with them and, to, and get to know more about what they do. So yeah, that was my presentation for Animal Logic. And 